Mary Church Terrell had a very long and accomplished life. She was born in 1863, the year of the Emancipation Proclamation, and her parents had been enslaved, but had later grown prosperous. Terrell earned her bachelor's and master's degrees and learned to speak French and German. Both Terrell and journalist Ida B. Wells were profoundly shaken by the lynchings of three African-American men in Memphis in 1892, and both women would campaign against widespread lynching, the racially motivated murders of African-Americans that took thousands of lives. Terrell also advocated for the right of women and men to vote, regardless of race. She would also become the first African-American woman to be appointed to the school board of Washington, D.C. In her 80s, she would campaign to eliminate segregation in restaurants in the city. Mary Church Terrell would live to see the 1954 ruling in Brown v. Board of Education, which ruled that racial segregation in public schools was inherently unequal and therefore unconstitutional. This has been 60 Second Civics, a podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage.